welcome back to Angie in Wonderland and it's that time of month again where I share with you all of the things that I used up in the month. Um, this is, let's see, the end of April. We're getting ready to go into May um, and I used quite a bit of things this month. Um, as usual, all of the things are pretty much the same, but I'm going to go ahead and dive right in and share with you guys all of the things that I used up in the month of April. Um, these are going to be in no particular order because I just kind of throw them inside of my basket and I just kind of grab them as I go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the stuff that I have sitting over here to my left because this is the stuff that would not fit in my basket. I just kind of set here right now. All right, so first things first. I went around my house and refilled all of my little wallflowers that were empty. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wallflowers that were empty around my house. And then I went ahead and refilled all of them, um, which now my house smells so good all throughout the house. Like every room smells so good. It's like a different scent in every room almost. Um, anyway, I uh, I wanted to change all those out, obviously, because they were empty, and two, because my in-laws were here, and I just wanted to make sure that the house smelled really nice um, while they were here, and it did. Um, but anyway, so I finished up all of those, so I'm going to go ahead and toss all of these in the trash. I do not know, like, what scents these were, um, because they don't ever have the scents, like, you know, on the outside, and I can't remember what all of them were, but all I know is they all smelled great and I love them, and now my house smells fantastic once again. So uh, I used all of those. Um, the other thing that I used up this month was my Summer's Eve Aloe Love Cleansing Wash. This is for your, you know, delicate areas. Um, I use this stuff all the time. I'm definitely out. I have, I keep forgetting to pick up another bottle while I'm at Target or Walmart, but um, it's on my list now, so I will not forget. But I um, love this stuff. It just smells so good, and I just feel fresher when I use this, so definitely something that I always repurchase. Um, the next thing that I used up in my shower was my Clean and Clear Morning Burst. This stuff is is amazing. I've been using this stuff for quite some time and I actually use like the nighttime one to wash my face um, at night before I go to bed. But this stuff is amazing. Always use this stuff. It smells so good too. I just like the way that it actually just like makes my face feel. It gets it just really fresh and clean and especially in the morning time when I'm sh when I shower in the morning, um, it just wakes me up. So um, anyway, morning burst. Absolutely love it. That's my clean and clear. Um, herbal Essence, you guys know that I have been loving my Herbal Essence shampoo lately. This one is, I finished up the shampoo, um, this is the Arabica Coffee Fruit Shampoo. So I finished this one up and I finished up the conditioner of the Manuka Honey. Both of these, absolutely love them. Uh, obviously I try to use the same conditioner and the same shampoo that match, but sometimes that doesn't happen. I run out of one or the other before the other one. And so I just have to grab one that I'm using, so or that I haven't used yet. But anyway, so these two are finished. Definitely something that I repurchased because I've really been enjoying the Herbal Essence lately. Um, and that's been going on for a couple of months now that I've really enjoyed the herbal essence. Okay, so I finished up. These are three candles that I have here on the top. We're going to go ahead and talk about some of these. The, this one... I told you guys about, this is the Lavender Myers Clean Day Scented Candle. Um, this month I was really um, introduced to the Mrs. Myers products at Target. I'm part of the Grove Collaborative. And um, so I've been ordering stuff and then I purchased stuff at Target as well. And this was one of the candles that I picked up. This is the lavender, not a fan. I will not be purchasing this lavender ever again. And it's so funny because I just reminded myself when I sniffed it that it was like, ugh, awful smell. So this is the lavender one. I do not like the way this one smells. I only like the way that the um, lemon verbena one smells, um, but I won't get it. But I do love their candles, but not this one. Ugh, no, won't, won't be doing that one again. Um, this was a... Let's see, this was from a box, I think, uh, that I got. I can't even remember what box it was, but I did um, end up burning this candle, and I love it. I like the jar also, so I think I'm going to try to get the wax out of here because I think the jar would be just really, really cute just to keep around the house to throw, like, a tea light in there um, because it's just, it's really pretty, and I think it would be really pretty, like, even in this room or around Christmas time because of the silver color to it, but I really did like this, and I burned that one up. 
And then the next one that I burned up as well is from White Bar. This is the Lemon Mint Leaf. I burned the crap out of this one. Like, I know I started this one, like, um, in April, and I burned the crap out of this. So I, have, like, burned it every single day that I, when I was home, of course. But anyway, loved this candle. Love the way that this one smells. Definitely one that I would repurchase again. Um, and let me just go ahead and give you what the scent is. It's sparkling lemon zest, spearmint leaves, and verbena, verbena sprigs love this. I love the way that it made my, I had in the kitchen and it just made my kitchen smell so fresh and I love that. That's the smell that I'm looking for is a fresh, clean smell and I love it for that. I got it from that candle. Love it. All right. So the next few things that I got, um, Oh, actually, I didn't think I had, I thought I had more than this, but I guess I didn't. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do the makeup really quick. This is the L'Oreal. This is the eyeliner that I use. Um, I've been using this now for a couple of years, and this is like the only eyeliner that I love. Um, this one comes with a little um, applicator brush. I'm trying to pull, pull it out. This one, it comes with a little applicator brush, and this one, it just goes on so perfectly for me. I never have any problems. I just kind of like really go lightly on the top of my eyelid and it's the best. So this is, uh, again, said L'Oreal um, in the color 171, which is the blackest black. Love this stuff. Perfect eyeliner for me. I love it. Alrighty. The next thing that I used up was my makeup towelette removers. This is the Neutrogena. I believe this one was from my bedroom back there. I keep one in my bedroom. I keep one in here. I also travel with these as well. And I'm going to actually do a separate um, travel empties video very, very soon. So you guys can go over there and look at that one once I have that one up. Um, anyway, this is the Neutrogena. Love the Neutrogena. I've been using this for a couple of years now. Um, and I just use one wipe to take off makeup on both of my eyes and I'm good to go so and it does not make my eyes watery or itchy and it gets the makeup off with one wipe so I'm really really happy about that love these things these are so good something that I repurchase every single month and then I used up well let me go back and say I use this up you guys I told you guys before this is about two months ago where I started emptying my downy and my Tide Pods inside of like a little container that I keep on top of my washing machine. And this is one of the ones that I emptied out when I poured it inside of my dish, my um, little dip, my little uh, container, sorry, that I keep on my washing machine. Um, man, I love the downy scents. Um, this stuff smells so good. Um, I always, I love the way that it smells, even like though it's empty. It still has such a great scent. I wish my house could smell like this all the time, but I'm just, I'm happy enough that my clothes can smell like this. Love these, buy these all the time. Whenever I am at Target or Walmart or Kroger or wherever I'm at that they have these, I always, always grab an extra bottle of these, even though I may not be out. Um, but I use these pretty much every day when I do laundry. So they, they come in real handy if I have um, just a regular, uh, one of these and I can just pour it inside of the container. So easy, so simple, and so so quick. Okay, last, um, almost done. Tide Pods, same thing. I have a little container that I keep on my washing machine and I just keep buying the refillable packs and just pour them inside of the little container that I keep on my washing machine. Love the Tide Pods. And then lastly, um, I have my uh, Swiffer Sweeper Wets. These are awesome. I love these things. I, um, I will mop my floors with a regular mop probably about once a month, but once a week, twice a week, sometimes just depending on what gets sticky on the floor, I will take my Swiffer to my kitchen floor. I also, I mean, and that's in between my big, full, like heavy mopping, um, but I also use these on my wood floor surfaces all throughout my house, and it does not leave any smears or smudges. It has not ever ruined my floors or anything like that, so I've always used these, and I love these. Um, they're so quick and easy to use and they just smell so nice too so I always I always tend to go back to the Swiffers because they're just easy and convenient especially for like quick little wipe ups or quick little mop ups in between big heavy cleaning so I love these and this is something that I use all the time and that my friends is it for my April empties I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will